So Huggy uh, volunteered to go down and check it out, and he did. And he came back looking very uh, shaken, and he said, you know, there's, there's nothing down there, nothing. It was the summer of 1964. My wife, Tori, and I were renting the second floor of, a, of an old house in Stratford. The main floor was empty. There's no one living down there, nothing there as far as we knew. And uh, upstairs it was, it was a little strange because our Siamese cats were very reluctant to go into the front room of this, uh, this, this place. and. Uh, they would not go near the closet in that front room, which was uh, slightly colder than the other rooms in the, in the place for some reason. And occasionally my friend Jimmy Plendick would uh, stay there and uh, he'd, he'd, he'd say to me, Kenny, you know, there's, there's something, something really weird about this room. And anyway, uh, one night a little bit later, this, we were in the kitchen having a little gathering with Jimmy and Doggy Schellenberg and Tori and I, and having a few beers, you know, and, and suddenly we heard this loud noise in the, below us, in the space below us, the empty space, and uh, banging of, sounds like the banging of cupboard doors, it was very loud. So Augie uh, volunteered to go down and check it out, and he did, and he came back looking very uh, shaken, and he said, you know, there's, there's nothing down there, nothing. Okay, sometime later, you know, a few weeks later, I guess, Tori was working uh, in Etobicoke teaching, so she was gone all week, and I was there. And then one night, I remember, uh, oh, I'll never forget, I was lying in bed uh, on the mattress on the floor, and suddenly I felt a tremendous pressure on my chest, and uh, I, I could barely breathe, and I, just, I got up, I grabbed my clothes, and I ran, I ran out of the house, and I went down the street to where my, uh, my friend Colin Fox is renting a house, and I said, Colin, you've got to, you've got to put me up. I've got to stay here. I can't go back to that place. So he said, yes, of course, come in. And I, I went back the next day, and I got, you know, whatever possessions we had there left, and I brought them to Colin's. I, I had to find another place, and uh, basically I never went back there. I, then it became the Golden Bamboo Restaurant, and perhaps there are, who knows, still ghosts in the kitchen. Possibly. Who knows? Anyway, that's what happened.